But first, with an increase of emissions from gas burning cars, planes and trains, environmental scientists say the use of alternative fuel is going to be essential to lowering that number. Tonight, Fox 46 chief transportation correspondent Hunker Vanguard shows us how some Carolinians are working to drive that number down and why others are running into supply roadblocks. <laughs> It's the new thing on the block for now. Yeah, I think people are curious about it. People are looking into it because it's somewhat a new thing. Electric cars may be a novel idea to this generation, but turn of the century names like Studebaker and Detroit Electric paved the way for the high voltage ventures of today's automakers. Go, go. Many say electric is the future. Tatiana Pizarski loves the different feeling an EV gives her behind the wheel. It's silent. It's enjoyable, it's fast. What hasn't been lightning fast is the adoption of EV technology or the manufacture of new vehicles like the Ford Mustang Mach-E. That model is currently on a six to eight month backlog. The earlier you integrate into it, the easier it gets. You know, the learning curve is, you're gonna be ahead of the learning curve than everyone else. A microchip shortage and COVID related delays are hitting Ford, Tesla, Nissan, Volkswagen, and other automakers. That's putting thousands of would-be EV drivers and our environment in the slow lane. It just becomes so much uh, easier to assimilate into your lifestyle. It's, it's essentially a smartphone on wheels. Jess Montgomery, president of the Charlotte Electric Auto Association, wants to demystify electric car ownership. He thinks a movement to a more electron-dependent society is in all our hands. The car is the same way. The electric car is just another appliance at home that you plug in and, and you use it. Um, but again, I think that if we get enough on the roads, um, we are going to help save the planet for sure. You have to keep in mind, though, that some electricity in parts of the country comes from fossil fuel powered plants. But according to Carbon Brief, the long term carbon offset of driving electric vehicles will still cut those harmful carbon emissions. How much CO2 we save is up to us. And I'm sure, you know, down the road, our kids will be wondering why did we ever drive gas cars? I'm Hawker Vanguard, Fox 46.